Get sidetracked. Okay, this is Get Sidetracked, and I'm going to be talking about Aomori, Japan. And this is Macau. You can see taxis Macau. You can see the background of Macau, but I'm going to be talking about Japan. Okay, so today we're in Japan. So I'm going to show you the picture of, of Japan, and you can see that Aomori is up at the top. It's very close to Hokkaido. So basically, I went all across Japan. I've been to many places around the world, but this is the one that I want to show today. Is this? Is this little city called Aomori. It's, um, it's actually a big city. It's the biggest one in, in its prefecture, but it symbolizes a lot of what Japan is like. It has kind of everything. It has um, um, you know, shrines and plazas and the proximity to the station. So we're going to show all that today on Get Sidetracked Aomori, Japan. So come on along. Let's go check out Aomori. Okay, so first of all, Aomori is very close to um, Hokkaido, and actually people don't know this, but Aomori actually has a heavier snowfall than, than Hokkaido. As soon as you come out of the station, you can see this little map. And this little map has, you know, you can see how not so big it is. You know, basically there's, the cities are quite big, but in these um, little places near the station, it's um, quite dense, which is one of the beautiful things about Japan, is you can just come out of a station and there's a lot to explore. So I'm gonna show you what Amori looks like. And um, as soon as you come out, there's a hospital. So this is me with this big mirror, and you can see people are, um, are busy going in out of the hospital, especially the workers. And one of the traits of Aomori is these wide streets, and I saw that in Hokkaido too. Hokkaido has these wide streets, Aomori also has wide streets, um, Nagoya does too, but a lot of Japan has these old, more feudal style streets. And, uh, but, um, but actually Aomori is um, one of these wide street areas, and you can see this in almost all these pictures. They're very kind of blackish, and, and also even though Aomori is right next to the ocean, and the ocean is beautiful, but there's also these... Um, um, everything's kind of set up there, so um, so basically when you walk down the streets you can see lots of these rain shelters and these rain shelters are very typical of Japan and um, basically the rain shelters are pretty much everywhere and there's and this is what the Aomori one looks like and you can avoid the rain or, or the heavy snowfalls. Um, also like in Aomori there's also these malls and plazas you can sit outside there's places to sit in front of restaurants in front of malls and everything is very central to the train stations, which is one of the beautiful things about Japan, is you're not car dependent. You don't need to stop at a parking lot and park somewhere. You can just get out of a train, and everything is right there and convenient. And Aomori is just one of those cities that's exactly like that as well. Um, also, you can see that there's things that are lots of Japan, since it's very expensive to get from place to place. So Aomori is also, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's made in Aomori. So I can see these signs in different places, made in Aomori, made in Hokkaido, made in you know, Kyushu. So this is um, kind of typical and I think a lot of it has to do with how expensive it is to travel around Japan. So it makes everything more localized and everything's around the station. So a lot of people, you know, stay more in their area. Um, it's not always true, but, but um, there's lots of subsidies to get, to get people moving around Japan as well, for sure. But, um, but and also Mori has temples. Here's a picture of one of the temples, but there's temples everywhere. Everywhere in Japan is kind of like that too. Um, What's kind of unique about Aomori is it's very far north, so there's also these seals, and you can see um, this whole waterfront area. And this is very close to the station, and it's also very cold. There's a beautiful bay right there in Japan, too, um, at the uh, at Aomori Bay. And basically the seals are there, there's also lots of statues, kind of public work stuff. Um, you can see a cruise ship, there's also cruise ships that are here, too. Uh, the cruise ships also bring in people, and I think they also go through Hokkaido in different places as well. The architecture, you can see this cool architecture. This, I think this was a museum if I remember right, but, um, but you can see it also has an artistic quality to it as well. And this is right next to the station as well. So basically Aomori, is, it's, it's quite small, it's very typical of Japan. It's also quite cold, and um, but also quite um, a nice compact little place, like much of Japan. So if you get a chance to come up to Aomori, you should. It's very close to, um, you can see this bay, and. Um, and basically this bay brings you right up to Hokkaido. So usually this is the last stop and then you go underwater and then you end up in Hokkaido um, if you're taking the Shinkansen trains. So okay, so this is Get Sidetracked. I hope you enjoyed this segment about Aomori. If you want to see more, just show some support. Um, all right, so, um, and I'm looking for subscribers. So if you can subscribe to the channel, let me show, show that you're interested in what I'm doing. I'd very much appreciate that. So this is Get Sidetracked and we're in Aomori, Japan. Eita casa velha!
Let's get it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Get sidetracked. We're in Almori, Japan. Like it, subscribe it, and send me some comments. Thank you.